Yes, guys, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a minute, but I'm back with the vlogs now. Just a little quick update for you guys. If you guys didn't know, Aloni season is over, so we don't have any more games, unfortunately, but we do have two more weeks of practices. So those are going to be intense. And today, since I had um, like the last two days were really intense sessions, and the past two weeks I've been out sick. So I haven't really been training much. So my body's feeling the toll of those sessions. So today, just gonna be taking this day as more of a recovery day and I'm gonna be taking you guys through it. Right now, I'm just gonna start my day off, kind of just walking my dog at the park, get that exercise in. And then I'm going to do my light session in the backyard. So I'm gonna take you guys through that. Let's go. Guys, basically one thing I want you guys to know about is that um, next week and the weekend after, I'm gonna be having two trials. And so I definitely want to be ramping up the intensity with my sessions like as soon as possible. That's what I've done in the last two days, but I still want to be healthy. I don't wanna get any injuries uh, after coming back from that sickness and not being able to train that much. So just gonna be trying to ramp up the sessions. Talk to you guys more about the trial experience after and who I trialed with because I don't really want to talk about that like before I've actually partaken in the trial. So just gonna be preparing for that and I'll keep you guys updated on that. All right guys, we're back on the good camera. Basically what I'm gonna be doing right now is I took a 30 minute nap. So right now I'm gonna be just showing you guys what I'm gonna be doing like my small drills, my light intensity session. And as well, I was just going to take you guys through a voiceover of my thoughts on what I do on a recovery day. And just give you guys a little bit more insight on how these days go for me. And let's get right to it. All right, so basically I'm just gonna be letting these clips of my drills playing in the background and I'm just gonna use this voiceover to talk about basically what I do on my recovery days. So on a recovery days, typically I pretty much go by how I feel. So if I'm on a rest day, for example, and I'm feeling extremely exhausted, extremely fatigued, I don't even wanna get up. Um, I won't sit around the couch all day still, but I will at least do something. So. I usually maybe go on a park, uh, go to the park for a walk, or I go to the gym for like a bike, like a stationary bike ride, or the pool and the sauna. And I'm just getting moving, but I'm not doing anything intense. But on this recovery day, I felt I had a bit of energy I wanted to use, and I didn't want to waste that. So I just wanted to put in some work and do some really light, basic drills. And the drills that I'm going to be doing in this video are very very basic just basic wall passing you can see right here is just first touch out with the left foot and then hitting the wall trying to get a perfect first touch and then passing with a firm locked ankle against the wall just something simple like that something that is very low intensity and not too demanding on the body so that's basically how my recovery sessions go in terms of physical work and then usually on these recovery days, I like to spend a lot more time on things outside of the field. So things like game analysis, I'll try to do more of that. I'll try to watch more game footage of players in my position. So I play center back and CDM, so I'll watch game footage on players like that. And I also try to do some more mental practice like visualization, breathing practices. Uh, maybe I'll like read a book or I'll do something more productive that's outside of the field work. And I also like to use these times to do something with like my friends or spend time with family or do something fun. 
because I think that is extremely important to have as a footballer. You need to have balance in your life. I think it's very important to not be consumed by only playing soccer or only working out. I think it's good to have a balance between a social life and working hard. And something extremely, extremely important I want to point out for these recovery days, guys. If you do plan on doing sessions like these where they're pretty basic, low intensity, even if they're low intensity, if you're feeling anything like, like a lot of soreness or you know, you're feeling like a tingling injury or something along those lines, just stop. I think it's not worth it. I think only train if you're feeling good and confident about your body and like how it's feeling, you feel energized. But if you're not feeling that, just take a break, do something light and active, like juggling maybe, but I would say just rest and recover because re recovery is still extremely important and you have to prioritize that as a footballer. And still on these recovery days, you should be hydrating a lot and fueling up on protein and carbs, getting a lot of sleep, as you should any day for a footballer, that's pretty common sense. And what I also like to do on these recovery days is train barefoot. I like to try to do this once or twice or three times per week. I think it's really good for not only getting a good feel on the ball, but it's also good for injury prevention. It, strength, it strengthens up the ligaments and tendons in the foot. It strengthens the muscles there and it helps you feel more functional in the feet. This is what's helped me in the past and helps me today. I'm not an expert on this stuff, but this is all from my experience. And so that's pretty much how my recovery days go. I'm just gonna let the rest of these clips play out and I'll catch you guys at the end of the video. Whew. 
I'll be honest guys, I know it was supposed to be a low intensity session, but that was honestly pretty tiring, but uh, still low intensity, it wasn't too heavy on my body, so I'm happy with how the session went. Um, right now, just cooking up a sandwich, and then pretty much for the rest of the day, I'm pretty much just going to be chilling. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And also, since I'm approaching the off season, comment down below what kind of videos you want to see since I'll have more time in my hands, whether it be drill videos, vlogs, game analysis, day in the life. It doesn't really matter. Just leave your suggestions down below. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.